What's up, good people? Mark Holtz here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope you guys are having a great Monday. Hope you tune in tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern, for our live stream. And, um, you know, we're going to be talking about, of course, the cuts. We have until 4 o'clock tomorrow for the Dallas Cowboys to make all of their cuts. And um, then, of course, the real work begins of who you're bringing back on the practice squad and who you might be signing elsewhere. One person, not on the Cowboys, we're not talking about the Cowboys, and I'm sure this is music to the ears of Philly 500, because Philly 500 has had his ups and mostly downs with Derek Barnett. Derek Barnett is reading the writing on the wall and saying that basically he's not going to get a lot of playing time and wants to be traded to someplace where he can get more playing time. I know Philly 500 would take, you know, a ham sandwich. No, I think he would take a potted meat sandwich because literally some of the biggest meltdowns you have ever seen are Philly 500 over Derek Barnett, where Derek Barnett would just do something, something cray cray. Yeah, something crazy and all. So we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, I tell you what, this morning, and I'll reiterate later on, um, undisputed, I think Fox has actually found lightning in a bottle, and it's not per se undisputed as much as it is getting Keyshawn, Richard Sherman, and Michael Irvin together. Skip Bayless seemed like he was a bump on the log, and you can look at those guys and say, you know what? As opposed to Shady McCoy, who is Mr. Ass-Ass, you looked at these guys, and these guys were actually having real debates and real football knowledge on the situation. You could see Skip Bayless was just kind of like, yeah, I'm not sure Skip Bayless liked being there because he wasn't the center of attention there. Um, yeah, I'm actually happy to see Michael Irvin back to work and not taking any BS. So we'll see how all that goes. But definitely, I think, um, I think definitely they got something good going on right there, right now. All right, good people. I got some more work to do in the shop and uh, we're gonna keep our ears to the tracks to see what's coming down the rails. I'm Mark Holmes and I appreciate you. Peace.